Today, in this video, I'll be showing you an in-depth review of OS X Yosemite. So, as you can see about this Mac, I'm using a MacBook Pro late 2013, the 13-inch model. Uh, well, one thing that I didn't like about OS X Yosemite is some transitions uh, in the beta mode are really very laggy. So, the first great feature about OS X Yosemite will be Spotlight. Spotlight has been done quite exquisitely by Apple. The great thing that I like about Spotlight is it's super fast. Now, super fast, guys, if I press command space, 90 divided by 55. So here's the answer, 99 divided by 4. So that's the answer. So it's super fast. Also, you can search for apps very fast. For example, if I want to turn on Logic, press enter, Logic. Also guys, Safari now shows us results, of course, from the dic dictionary and also we can directly search the web using the spotlight. So the next great thing is the new UI, guys. So the UI here is actually super smooth. Um, so Apple have got new uh, icons for many stuff for the Finder, Launchpad. Each and every icon has been done quite precisely by Apple. So also they have the new folder icons which are lighter blue in color. Also one great thing is the transparency here that you can see exactly here. So what this does is it adapts the background color which you may have heard many many places even in the Apple's videos and stuff. So if I change the desktop background for example here. So look right here the the background just took the transparent color of the desktop also many of the apps and transitions seem much smoother okay guys the next great thing is notification center so notification center pops up by pressing this button in the top right corner so one great thing about notification center now is that you have some basic important necessities uh, now directly in the notification center for example if I want to add some widgets like calculator which will be useful for me stocks I don't need them but still and tomorrow summary if I have some events for tomorrow and stuff so that's superbly done by Apple and now you can directly post to multiple websites if I need for Twitter I can post it directly here for Facebook next great thing is Safari the icon looks sweet and similarly as sweet is Safari so if I turn on Safari Apple has done a quite awesome job in redefining Safari um, well what they've done is just modified Safari and our favorites uh, which means the website that we have kept on a login can be seen right here this new transition in which we can see the 3d view of each and every tab for example if I open too many tabs so as you can see now I can see the 3d view of each and every tab so if I need this tab yeah just pop it up also the one thing that I like to talk about is iTunes well iTunes has a new icon and and guys the UI is much much smoother as I said about Safari uh, and now you can directly access the radio and now you can go to movies TV shows your podcast directly here in the left top corner so that was iTunes so the next great thing that I like to talk about is continuity well Apple haven't introduced iOS 8 for public yet but still uh, continuity is gonna be a great new feature well in continuity what you can do is use your Mac to receive calls from your iPhones and also you can use the internet of your iPhone if you don't have a Wi-Fi connection nearby and also it, what it does is automatically syncs your important stuff okay so this thing hasn't been men mentioned by Apple but I've read it many places is OS X Yosemite will be supporting all the softwares that were supported on Mavericks so that's quite great so if you have your old Logic 9 or Final Cut Pro 10.9 the those all stuff will be supported on OS X Yosemite the next great thing will be the dock well, I personally don't prefer the 2D dock. Well, the dock has been made 2D by Apple. So if I position it on bottom also, 
this dog will be a 2D dog. But one great thing that I like is so the dog actually looks quite more catchy, the icons more clear as compared to the 3D dog, and that's the reason why I think Apple replaced it to show the icons more clearly and stuff. So the new dog and the new animations actually are much much smoother this small small things have been done much much greatly by apple and that's where we pop up to our next most great thing is the precision so apple has done quite a good job in adding precision to this well the small small things that apple have done is the transitions are now much smoother well the up down transitions the back transitions the close transitions the minimizing transitions the genie effect scale effects these effects look much much smoother and also the launch pad when it pops up well it looks really really great as compared to as it was yeah, before I really yeah. love the thing about OSX Yosemite and as you can see a small thing that I'm using now is dark mode so one great thing that I've loved about dark mode is it prevents more contact with the menu bar and the dock well what this actually does is if you are doing some tremendous video editing on FCB as you can see now because of the dark mode actually it 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 looks quite awesome now I can concentrate on the software more instead of my view going more on the menu bar and on the dock but white text I don't know I don't feel it quite right so the next great thing is change in resolution uh, well some of us using MacBooks and MacBook Airs may have felt this problem is when we are using different resolutions means which is not best suited for the display. So one great thing about this is that when we change the resolutions the stuff remains smooth as it was. Unlike on Mavericks when we change the resolution actually I felt the transitions to be much much slower. But now this problem has been overcome so hats off to Apple for that. All of you may not agree with this because this is a homemade video and these are my personal stuff that I like. So comment below, like, rate, subscribe. This is